Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and, and I am back with another Let's Play. Uh, this one should be super fun, uh, so let's just get right on into it. Uh, now really fast before we get started, I would like to point out that uh, End has been opened. Uh, I tried to go fight the Ender Dragon and I recorded it. Uh, yeah, I ended, I, I ended up dying in the first, like, two minutes, and I lost all my stuff that I was carrying, so my, like, really good sword, my pickaxe, uh, food, stuff like that, uh, but I do have a pair of Elytras, it cost, these cost me 20 diamonds from, uh, Daikik, that's how you pronounce his name, he's playing right now, actually, uh, but I just came back onto the server, and what is going on here? What is happening? Uh, so yeah, by the way, yeah, elite chairs and everything. Uh, I have some pretty good gear now. A uh, good sword, like, really amazing sword. <laughs> I love this sword so much. Uh, I did a lot of enchanting because I was sick, and I couldn't record because my throat was all messed up. Uh, but I got two different pickaxes, one with Fortune 3 and one with... Oh, I have not put, um silk touch on it yet but i'm pretty sure i have a book somewhere so we'll get to that really soon got some obsidian i have a uh, portal up there you can see it right there uh but yeah so what is going on here be right back whoa that is a lot of pigs what's this say tnt here's your very own food source hey i don't eat pigs i heard i I heard I love piggies, heart, die kick too. Okay, I'm pretty sure he watched my video, and he heard that I do not kill pigs. <laughs> yeah, um, wow, <laughs> there is a lot of piggies over here, and then he made a nice big snout, oh my gosh, this must have taken forever, huh, uh, I think we're gonna have to get him back, so, <laughs> Um, question of the day I'm going to be doing, I believe, is either going to be like a poll or you guys go down into the comments below. Uh, we have to get him back. So, what is this? What is this? Is this coal? Block of coal? Oh, I'm so taking that. Uh, what do you guys want me to do to get him back? I mean, yeah, we can, we can really do our best to go and make something funny, a little big prank. Little big prank. I like that. All right. Uh, so, I don't have an axe on me, but I think that we're just going to set all of them free onto my island, because I love pigs, my sister loves pigs, we all love pigs in this family, uh, that's why I don't eat them in this game, and I can't get out of here. Oi! Okay, my, oh, there we go. Uh, and yeah, I think I'm just gonna break this fence, and let's watch them all come flying out okay let's break one more and one more i'd say yeah i think this is going to be become pig island i'm not going to kill a single one guys none of these guys are going to be hurt well hopefully if i can get these signs without hurting them then hopefully they will not be hurt there we go uh yeah so hopefully they'll just kind of get out of there <laughs> somehow uh, but actually going on to this video is going to be a pretty long one, I believe. Uh, since that we have Elytras and whatnot. Um, okay, well, we have a lot of things going on. Because I was playing a lot while I was sick. And I couldn't record once again because my throat was really hurting. So I had a sore throat. Uh, but we have a lot of shulker boxes. And we have this. <laughs> Uh, you guys might be going like, oh my gosh, what the heck, TN, TNT, and like, what? <laughs> we have a beacon now? Yeah. Yeah, we have a beacon. Um, actually, we have, uh, two beacons? <laughs> uh, so what happened here is I was at the nether, and I'll actually go show you guys really fast. So this is where I've been for, like, five hours of my life, um, yeah, it's a wither skeleton spawner killer place. Uh, we're in another fortress right underneath us, I believe. This was made by Desert Rose, I believe. And I think, I'm not positive, but I believe it was designed by um, 
either Il Mango or Exumer or someone in that kind of, yeah, the bigger YouTuber guys. Uh, but yeah, so I've spent a long time over here and I have, uh, I got three heads and I will actually show you guys that video. Oh, can I fly? I'll say show you guys that video right now of uh, me killing it. Um, so I can actually trap the wither in bedrock. It is a glitch. I'm pretty sure Minecraft Mojang whatever is going to fix it very soon. Uh, but right now it, it is in game. Uh, so if you guys want to do it, just go to like underneath uh, the portal home from the end, and you place. Uh, the wither underneath it and you uh, just like get it as close as possible you place the three heads uh, and the wither will spawn and it will be stuck in the bedrock and then you just have to wait until it is all done uh, so yeah that's really awesome but I have a quick little time lapse for you guys of me end busting that's kinda like my new job and I did an hour long thing of end busting and it was it was fun it was actually pretty fun so here it is right now so in this time lapse I'm actually going to try something a little bit different I'm going to try talking to you guys because I still have a little bit to catch you guys up on or do I really I kind of already talked about the whole beacon and everything situation uh, but yeah uh, I still want to talk to talk to you guys about this because it's been so much fun being on the server everyone's been so nice and cool helping me out um, and it's just been a really really fun time uh, so, uh, what do you, since this is a totally new series, I don't really know what I'm doing, honestly, uh, but I think that I'm going to try to, like, actually make a good survival place, get my base all done. We're not going to be working on the base today, <laughs> we're actually going to be doing a totally new, a big, very, very big project, um, but yeah, I should be, a, I, sh I do want to actually make a good base this time, and, like, actually continue the series instead of just stopping about five episodes in and starting a new one uh but yeah so that's kind of what i want to be doing uh and i'll tell you guys what the big project is a little bit later uh but what do you guys want to see me do do you guys want to see me build like all crazy ish do you guys want me to just to make like this really cool base do you want me to what do you guys really want to see do you want to see me doing like a lot of pranks do you want to see me doing I don't know, just like building farms. Do you want to see me actually like try to build something uh, pretty, even though I'm awful at that sort of thing? Uh, yeah, just kind of let me know that down in the comments below. Uh, and then once again, question of the day is what should I do to die kick? Uh, so yeah, uh, but the big project that I really want to get started on today is drum roll, please. This is just my table at home. <laughs> uh, it is a creeper creeper farm. Uh, so as you guys know, now that we have Elytras, yeah, we're going to need a lot of fireworks, by the way. Um, I also have like a bow now. Uh, but anyway, back to the subject. Uh, now, Dykick has his very own big shop. It's a very, very big shop. And it is... Um, it has everything basically he's trying to get everything in the game in the shop now that's a very hard thing to accomplish but honestly you can probably do it knowing him uh so he has uh, a firework shop in here and it's like 64 diamonds for, uh, uh sorry two diamonds for 64 fire rockets um but someone on the server named i think it's rash sad Rash Saturn, uh, he has made his own fireworks shop, and it is only uh, one diamond a stack. And the thing is, though, he doesn't have much. He doesn't have a farm. Uh, so I was already thinking about making my own fireworks shop and making a farm. So I talked to him, and we're going to partner up. Uh, he's going to give me all the paper that I will need, and I'm going to make the big creeper farm and you guys might be saying like oh whoa t and that's so unfair you're going to be doing like a big creeper farm and he's going to be making a little sugarcane farm uh he's hopefully hopefully going to help me out on everything uh with the creeper farm i'm not sure but hopefully hopefully i kind of talked to him 
Uh, only big problem is we live in totally different areas because we're on totally different time zones. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of a big issue. But uh, to start off, I'm going to be making the farm. I think it's, I don't really know his name, uh, but it's the one that Mumbo Jumbo is making right now. Of course, it's by Mumbo Jumbo. It's not by Mumbo Jumbo, but he's making it. Mumbo Jumbo is making one right now um, on the Hermitcraft server. In fact, I think he just finished. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be making the same one. Uh, it seems really effective and it doesn't look, I mean, yeah, it does actually look pretty hard, but we should be able to do it. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little time-lapse chat. So, we did good. Um, this is actually after I sold everything, because once again, that time, uh, that was shot a while ago. Uh, because, yeah, I was sick and I couldn't speak. By the way, we have this wither. It's not a regular wither skull. It looks a little bit different, I'm pretty sure. And it's called a wither, not a wither skull. Can someone explain this? The wither dropped it once I killed him. Uh, is this, like, a rare thing? Can I do anything with it? Is it just, like, for show? What? What is going on here? Anyway, uh, but that was taken a while ago, and I've already sold a lot, and, like, I mean a lot of stuff, uh, and we ended up with 64 diamonds plus 13 plus, oh, plus 9, apparently, so plus 22, and I spent a lot, and I mean a lot on my Elytras, because I had to buy those before I got some, uh, and I also, um, had to buy a lot of mending books from Die Kick. Uh, Die Kick's taking all my money. He's the richest guy on this server. I guess he's the richest mind fighter, as some might say. Anyway, um, so yeah, he's kind of taking control. <laughs> anyway, uh, but, oh, it's right here. I have left over, this is just left over. I sold like five elite, three elitras. We have four left over. We have this stuff, and I already cleared out some of it and put some as my armor. Uh, and then we have all these shulker boxes. So this is filled up with just the iron I have left over after making that. Uh, I have some quartz in here. Hopefully I'll be able to fill that up. I have a lot of ender pearls in here. Uh, and I have some redstone in here. Now, today what I want to do, well, first of all, we're going to be taking five of these, I'd say is a good number. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, perfect. And all the ones I'm not using. Uh, and we are going to go deliver this to the firework shop because, once again, we are partners. And we're starting to make it more into a Litra shulker box uh, shop. So I'm going to go deliver this really fast uh, to the shop. Uh, now this is the little shop that we have. It's quite small yes I know uh, but I'm pl planning to make it bigger in the future but now we have sucked up a little bit we have all this I mean do I have to buy from my own store I mean like I don't I don't really I, I'll, I'll just be nice and just <laughs> I mean I haven't donated any fireworks yet so I'm going to pay him for the meantime uh, but Ooh, whoa, okay. Uh, if we just head out of here, I think that we're going to be making our own redstone shop. This is just going to be a quick project uh, because I have a whole creeper farm to get uh, working. I, we're not going to finish the creeper farm uh, by any means. Uh, collabs with other servers. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, but anyway, uh, so well, I totally lost my train of thought. Basically, we're going to go make a redstone shop really fast. And also, we're going to replace this obsidian over here because it's looking quite ugly right now. And just take that out. And there we go. And we'll also do our one at home. And now that they're starting to clear out. Okay, never mind. You can't really see it. Uh, but if we fly up a little bit, maybe you can. Here we go. You can kind of see that he actually made a full pig underneath there, which I was honestly not expecting. I was just expecting the news. Anyway, uh, so I got a lot of um, red concrete. And do we have? Yeah, we do have more red dye still. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... Ooh, do we have any? Okay, we have 20 sand. Uh, we're going to go get some... Uh, red glass uh paints planes paint paints paints i think uh so yeah all right so we have 32 glass 
uh, paints now, paints, I'm pretty sure, uh, so I should probably just mention that if we head this way, yeah, we're, like, right next to the shopping district, uh, just letting you guys know, wow, that's a lot of torches, anyway, um, by the way, we have amazing, amazing Christmas tree, this was made by, um, Jennifer, or Dessert Rose, uh, but she's really, really cool, uh, yeah, she's been doing some awesome work on this server, I don't think I need anything here for right now, uh, but, uh, where do we want to make this shop? So, I believe that we will be building our little shop right here by the little tree and whatnot. Oh, wait, is this claimed? Oh, no. This area... Oh, darn, the area is already claimed. How did I miss that? Oh, darn it. All right. Um, I suppose we'll have to find another place then. So this is kind of the idea I had, uh, was just kind of like this, uh, kind of ovalish shape. Uh, but, by the way, we kind of set up shop here. It's kind of farther away from spawn. Spawn's like, that's the main building right there. Uh, but yeah, I think that this will, this will do. Uh, I want to make, hmm, hmm, wait one second. And this is what our leader comes along and does. He just gets his bow and he just starts firing at my thing. I don't understand, but I mean, like, I'll take it. It was pretty funny. Alright, and there we go. And I'll probably add, like, some uh, pink or something to it. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, just, like, a lighter red if they have that. Just, you know, something. I don't understand how this happened, but I I hit the ground really hard with my Elytras. Oh, I already have boots on. Wait one minute. <laughs> so like I was saying, I hit the ground really hard with my Elytras. I didn't feel like it was that hard, but apparently it was enough to kill me. And I lost a lot of, um, of the red concrete. I don't have any more left. And I also just like um, lost uh, my armor or at least most of it. I don't know how this survived out of everything. It's not even damaged a little bit. I am very confused, but anyway, I'm going to go get some more red concrete. All right, so uh, Die Kick was so kind because I was super sad and complaining because I lost my amazing uh, pickaxe and sword. And once I lost my sword, I was, I was super duper sad. Uh, so I just sat, like, in chat, I'm so sad, and he gave, gave me his am uh, pretty amazing pickaxe. I mean, seriously, that's awesome. But what was really amazing is he gave me this amazing, amazing sword. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Uh, don't worry, I did pay him 10 diamonds, not that much considering how amazing it is, uh, and also considering how rich he is, uh, but, I mean, it was what I felt like I should do. So anyway, uh, I'm going to make some more, excuse me, some more concrete. So actually I just replaced this with glass and I probably should have enough to finish off the roof now, maybe close. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. And I have two left over and I think I'm also going to take out this anyway. So, all right, there we go. And I mean, this fly is just a little bit, um, just a little bit sad. It doesn't have like much to it. So I think I'm going to just bring it up by a little bit to add a little bit more. Just like, just, it'll look better. Just trust me. When I said, uh, trust me, it'll look better. I don't actually know if it does. It kind of just looks weird on the outside. In the inside, I kind of like it. It kind of works. On the outside, it's just Nah, I, I don't I don't really know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. But right now we will leave it like that. Uh, so now I think we have to take out. Uh, do we have to take out the floor? I mean, like this. Okay, people take out the floor. All right, this is gonna take a little bit. There we go. I kind of went for like a nice uh, wood flooring. I don't really know why. Well, actually, I do know why because the wood shop was right there, and I didn't know what to do for a flooring. Uh, but I think, I think it looks pretty decent, so we just gotta light this place up now. Alright, so for now, I think that will be it, um, but I will be continuing tomorrow morning in real life. Uh, so I just put TNT's Redstone Shop not finished, because it is not, 
Uh, I'm going to be making a nice redstone door and getting this all set up and making it look just really nice and great. Uh, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll be getting it done and creeper farm that whole mess. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to do all that too. Uh, but I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. So we are back is the next day now and I am ready to get started on finishing our building over here, our little shop. I'm hating it more and more, honestly. Let me know what you guys think. Um, so the floor I had to take out because I'm doing some redstone because if it's a redstone shop, we need a redstone door, let's face it. Uh, so that is what I'm currently working on. We're gonna need a little bit of this uh, red stuff, just a little bit more. Uh, but I had to get slime balls because we do need some sticky pistons. Uh, so what do we need? We need iron. I think, yeah, I brought along my iron shulker box. So we need two more of these. And then we need to add slime to it. And we need two of those. Perfect. So uh, I believe that it's supposed to go right here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's a little bit messy on everything. Um, we're going to have to do quite some tearing down of this shop and like replacing things. But it will all work out in the end. Probably. <laughs> so I believe we just have to place that there and then come over on this side. And place just a bit of redstone dust. And it's just like your basic 2x2 two two piston door. And then if we grab out some of this, we can place it like that. And then pretend all that was covered up. Once we walk over here, it opens up. It works perfectly. Uh, so I'm going to go and clear up, uh, put all the floor back together because it's not looking too great right now. All right, so now it's fully functional. So all we have to do is step on these pressure plates. The door opens up and we can go through uh, this dirt on the inside right here. Uh, this is where the red uh, concrete is going to go. I just didn't have enough. Uh, and then we're also going to finish up this over here and make it look a lot nicer, kind of like this side over here. Honestly, I don't really know what to think about it. It kind of looks like a mess, but I also kind of like it. I don't, I don't really know what to think about it, honestly. Also, thank you whoever looked this up for me. Yeah, I really appreciate it because this was probably a big mo uh, mob spawner. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go get some more red concrete. I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of don't. But in the end, I think that it's finished. I don't know if I should be adding more or not, honestly. It's just, it's a lot. <laughs> anyway, if we walk through, it's... Oh, I forgot to take care of this dirt. So here we go. Now I do believe it is actually finished. If we walk through here, it looks nice and big and whatnot. Uh, so what I believe I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up sections like repeaters over here, uh, just regular redstone over here, comparators, observers, um, uh, pistons, just whatever I can think of. Beacons really are super pretty. I mean, like, it's just super duper pretty, especially when it's colored, just shoots up into the sky. It's, it's a really cool thing. I really like um, it in Minecraft especially cool at my base because it just kind of like shoots up and like yeah I like it really a lot uh, personally but continuing on to redstone so we do not have much stone so we're, we're going to have to go to I think her name yeah dessert rose and we're going to uh, she has a super smelter so we're gonna have to go over to her base and smelt up a lot of stone cobblestone two stone yeah whatever Really fast, I'm going to head over to, I don't actually remember their name, it's like Jock something, I believe, Jockey, uh, but I'm going to head over to their base because they have an awesome guardian farm and I need, need to get some more levels. This place is super laggy, but it's super duper awesome. I, I have all my things like full, except for this thing because it doesn't have mending, but we'll get that soon. Anyway, it's just absolutely awesome. So I'm so sorry I cannot remember your name. Uh, it's something like Jokey or something like that. Uh, but thank you so much for making this and letting me use it because it is absolutely awesome. All right, so we do not have much because we're just starting out. But as of right now, we just have 32 pistons for one diamond. I don't know if this is a good price at all. Let me know down in the comments, but it is kind of hard to restock and everything. 
Uh, we don't have much inventory right now. Uh, these are 32 absor observers for two diamonds each. Uh, comparators, 32 comparators for two diamonds. These were really hard. Uh, and then 32 repeaters for um, how much? One diamond. I think I might bump this up to two. I don't know what's a good price. We'll see by how much people want everything. But let's also chuck some in here. Um, probably should take that out and I'll store this in my secret place. You guys do not know where it is so people cannot come steal my stuff. Um, so yeah, that's our little shop. So a few more things before we are officially done. First of all, we are now finished. Uh, second, we do have to keep this, uh, but actually second of all, ooh, we cannot do it underneath the floor because the thing is if you break a tree, you know, all of it comes down. Uh, same is true if you just place this. If I break one of these blocks, all the surrounding bro uh, blocks break, which was really annoying, honestly. Uh, but I suppose we'll just do it back here. Oh, we gotta name it. Gotta change it from Red Banner to T and Tians Redstone Shop. Um, exclamation point, why not? <laughs> Alright, let's go put this into our store. So, not positive, but I think it's done like this. No, like this. No. How, how, how do we get this to show up? I don't know. I'll have to talk to one of the people running the server. Well, what is that? Oh, that's the lava over there. Uh, but as of right now, it will be okay. I'll tell them to help me out on that. Anyway, um, oh man, it's been a very busy episode, but there's still one more thing I want to get to, and that is the creeper farm. I don't know how much I'll be able to get done today, but I'll do my best, so let's go to a time lapse. So it's super laggy, but this is what we're going to be trying to make. We need a lot of observers and whatnot. Um, a lot of dispensers, a lot of water buckets, which means a lot of iron. And, of course, a lot of iron because we need to make a lot, and I mean a lot, of trapdoors. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, I don't really know, honestly. It might be worth it. Uh, but this thing does spawn a lot. We have to make all of these iron trap doors. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm getting myself into so early on, but... Uh, okay. Um, let's see what happens. So this whole area, we gotta take it out. This little diamond area right here, it's all going down. And it's going to be a very, very hard and long project. Uh, luckily, we do have the beacon over there. But for some reason, I'm not getting Instamine, which is making me really sad. I have Haste 2, Efficiency 5 pick, right? Yeah, Efficiency 5, and it's Haste 2. I don't know why I'm getting inst not getting Instamine, but I am not. So I'm going to try to figure that out. And there we go, we have our full beacon now, and yes, I have Instamine. Thank goodness this will go so much faster. So this is how far down we have to go level. I believe it's uh, 49, yeah. Hopefully I have that correct. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're pretty far down, so it's going to be a fun long time. Luckily, I was able to make it out of there flying, actually, but if we just take a look right over the edge right here, yeah, we got to go all the way down there, uh, and we have to do all this gigantic area. Oh my gosh, what am I getting myself into, guys? But I believe that's all I'm going to have time for, guys. It's going to take a very, very long time. This is probably going to be continued for, like, oh man, uh, sorry for the noise in the background, for, like, I don't know three four more episodes it's going to be a very long project because we're not that far into this series this is like episode three uh so i'm sorry about that but yeah i'm going to have to go for now i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button and even subscribe if you really enjoyed it and want to see more uh but thank you guys so much for watching this one and i hope to see you later bye